I noticed that a lot of people have trouble using the healing turret because the healing turret is different than other heals. You can do basically two things with it and there are Never certain situations better. where either of those are viable. You can either use the healing turret overcharge and pick it up right away and you only get 14 seconds of cooldown or you can use the healing turret and blow it up for the water finisher and you get 20 seconds cooldown but you get also 1.3k health um, the picking up is definitely more sustain but there are a few small things that you should keep in mind with the healing turret <clears throat> first of all um, as a notice you should always overcharge it right away because when you use the healing turret it will take after 0.5 seconds and you will get the second heal which is like 2.5k and it's like 50% of your heal so if you don't overcharge it right away you will heal a lot less the, the heal will be absolutely terrible if you don't overcharge it and some people do the mistake and don't overcharge it or overcharge it too late and then they try to blow it up and they don't get a water finish or anything and it's just terrible if you don't know how to use the heal accordingly um, so most of the time I would recommend to just pick the healing turret up because it's way 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 better sustain but if you pick it up the healing field which normally stays for three seconds will be gone immediately if you Lower the healing turret up, as you can see, the circle will stay, and you can use more blast finishes into the water field. So you will have 20 seconds cooldown, but you will also get 1.3k heal from the initial blast finisher from the healing turret, which is also AoE healing, so it's uh, useful to heal allies. But you can also, if you know that you will use a lot of blast finishers, or if your allies will use a lot of blast finishers, just blow it up for a lot of extra healing. So I could use my big bomb, could use my healing turret, blow this up, you can use my lead and all of this together and I got like five blast finishers. I mean it's a situation like this will probably never happen that you use everything all at once, but I would have healed an insane amount there. Um, but if you know for example that you are going to use your lead in a second and um, what to stun an enemy with it, it could be worth it already. You get two blast finishers out of it, which are like 2.6k healing, and that can be extremely useful. And you can also line up a um, shield 4 real quick, or if you have a bo big bomb already down, all of that can be considered. Or if you know that you're getting focused really hard and you have to use your rocket boots in a second, and you don't have time to use your F1 to use the water field for the blast finisher, then you can blow your healing turret up before and just use the rocket boots right away. Stuff like that, you should keep that in mind. And if you use the heal accordingly, if you make the right decisions, it can save your life, it can save the life of your allies, and you can do a lot of stuff with it.